<coughs> well hello everybody now you may be wondering where you've seen this before well it's it's this machine my CNC mill stroke router and I've turned all my 2D drawings into 3D drawings and assembled them in De Design Spark Mechanical. Now I'm going to move over to the screen capture to show you it in more detail. Now if we look over here in the structure tree we see that this general assembly is made up of several modules which is the base assembly which is this unit at the bottom in fact it's over here in this tab this is the base assembly comprising some section high section there and some angles to connect them together A left and a right hand Y axis, which if we highlight we see there is the left hand and the right hand axis. In the tab we can look at them. I haven't got that one loaded. I'll go to open Y axis and we've got a right and a left hand so we'll choose the left hand one <clears throat> there there it is we can move it around see the inside of it linear bearings ball screw and ball nut etc h key to the general assembly we're showing here the linear mounts which are these side plate things now we if we unclick it it removes it from the picture and we can see the inside of various things we can also look at the y-axis open up the y-axis and we see the individual parts of it For example, these plates here, if I can find them, there and there. Move those front plates, and we can now see inside. The Z axis. We can also look at the Z axis in detail by loading it into a tab. And if we remove the mounting plate, uh, which is actually part of uh, the sub-assembly, that's the sub-assembly, it's the x-axis sub-assembly, that. But we've also got the z-axis sub-assembly. Open. Z-axis. assembly and there's the z-axis sub-assembly linear mount if we un -cl unclick the linear mount we can see how it's constructed now so far I have not annotated these drawings these assemblies. I'm not going to do it for this because I've already got my 2D drawings. <clears throat> so 
this is this was merely an exercise for my own benefit to get the hang of how to put assemblies together and the hierarchy that's required for the structured tree. So I'm thinking of putting this file on a disk and offering it on eBay for a nominal fee for you guys to play with if you wish so it would help me if you could indicate whether you would whether you think you would get any benefit from a copy of all these files to load into your copy of Design Spark Mechanical just to see how these things go together and you can then send comments to me for further explanation if you wish so I hope uh, you found this of some interest and use to you all uh, let me know what you think I always enjoy reading your comments bye for now bye and here is an example of the disc that you'll get on there you've got all the files to make the 3D model and to investigate it so I think it should be a good bit of fun for you and also get you started in 3D modelling just look for Jim's Design Spark models on eBay and you should find this no problem He's wishing you all the luck in the world. Bye for now.